Welcome back to our study. Check out our NA Tradition Study Group on Facebook. I will post the link below the questions in the description box. This is Tradition 10 for members from our Guiding Principles book. As our thinking becomes clearer, our ability to be honest increases. Honesty begins with not lying, but that's not where it ends. We start to recognize the difference between what's true for us and what sounds good, or what we wish was true. We don't have to argue about practices or politics. Recovery is no longer based in theory. It's our own experience. The better we get at telling the truth, the clearer our message becomes. We know that anything that affects our recovery is material for sharing, but finding the message in the raw material of our lives can be challenging. When we share in meetings, it helps if we look for a connection to the topic, to a step, a tradition, or another recovery principle. Sharing can help us look for solutions, which is part of how sharing helps us. Finding the message in our experience helps us to understand its exact nature. We experience unity when we hear our story from a member who seems so different from us. Our shared experience as recovering addicts is stronger than any of the forces that could divide us. That connection is the heartbeat of NA, and evidence of a higher power working in our meetings. Our experience, strength, and hope carry a clearer message than our opinions ever could. Our sharing from the heart connects us to our common experience and common purpose. Tradition 10. Our 10th tradition says, Narcotics Anonymous has no opinion on outside issues. Hence, the name will never be drawn into public controversy. Clarity and simplicity are keys to our message. Tradition 10 is clear and simple as well. Narcotics Anonymous all by itself is enough. We promise freedom from active addiction. We don't take positions on outside issues, and we don't allow the NA name to be drawn into controversy. NA is a program of complete abstinence and it works in the lives of countless addicts around the world. Recovery is possible for any addict who chooses to follow our way. Still, our way is not the only way, and we don't even have an opinion on whether it is the best way. The NA way is the only approach on which we have an opinion. We know it works for those who want what we have and are willing to make the effort to get it. Some of the principles that are central to our program are not universally shared outside NA. Our belief in total abstinence is viewed by some as extreme. Some disagree with our commitment to personal anonymity. These principles are not negotiable, and we do not have to debate them. We may want to defend our name or explain our position, but we don't need to. We don't need to argue that NA is the best or the only way to recover. What matters is that it works for us. The language of this tradition points to two ways we can find ourselves in the storm of public opinion, by taking a position ourselves or by being drawn into public controversy by someone else. There are issues closely related to our primary purpose that may feel urgent. It might seem like we should take a position on public policy or trends in addiction treatment. But in fact, these things have nothing to do with Narcotics Anonymous. The PR Handbook offers guidance on how we practice Tradition 10 in a presentation or H&I meeting. The only way we can be drawn into public controversy is if we offer an opinion on an issue outside the scope of our own program. When we get tangled up in argument, we risk being drawn into positions that will compromise us in some other way. Rather than taking positions on issues that are none of our business, we talk about N.A. and then stop. Our message speaks for itself. Our success is defense enough. Many of us are drawn to an interesting or heated debate, but Tradition 10 requires that we let it go by. We are responsible for keeping our focus. Engaging in debate with those whose approach differs from ours, or with those who criticize our program, would distract us from our primary purpose and risk alienating the newcomer. We don't need to invest energy or interest in the conversations that swirl around us. We know our message and our purpose, or we do what we do. Focusing on our primary purpose frees us from the need to be distracted or diverted into debates with those whose interests and motives differ. No one outside NA is under any obligation to respect our traditions. Our commitments to unity, anonymity, and our primary purpose are ours alone. Drawn directly from the experiences of those who went before us, Tradition 10 serves as a guidepost and a warning. One early addiction recovery movement grew to thousands of members until some of its leaders began speaking for the organization on a number of political issues. As the group started taking public positions on issues other than recovery, membership fell away, and they were soon forgotten. Throughout the history of NA, a number of fledgling NA communities have faced difficulties or collapse because of promotion, publicity, and controversy. 
Our commitment never to draw the N.A. name into public controversy is a matter of survival for the fellowship we love, and for all of us addicts who need Narcotics Anonymous. The lines between N.A. and the outside world are often clearer than the lines between our personal lives and our membership in N.A. It can be difficult to see where our relationship with N.A. ends and our outside interests begin. If we have a religious or spiritual practice outside N.A. that matters deeply to us, we may feel very little distance between our experience on that path and practicing these principles in all our affairs. Or, if we work in treatment, we may be addressing suffering addicts all day long before we come to a meeting. Still, what we do in N.A. is different. Recognizing and honoring that difference is critical to our integrity as a fellowship and to our personal recovery. We don't live outside of history. Our recovery and our fellowship exist against a backdrop of real events and issues that sometimes affect us profoundly. Outside issues that appear to intersect with our purpose or message almost invite us to take a position. Our ability to rise above in these moments protects us from debates that would tear us apart. Word by word, Define, expand on, or clarify the words or phrases from this tradition, one at a time or in relation to each other, for writing or discussion with your sponsor or other NA members. Example, controversy. In general, a controversy is a disagreement in which there are strong opposing views. Some say a dispute needs to be public, prolonged, and polarizing in order to be considered a controversy. We immediately see the danger as well as the attraction. Controversy is interesting and we like a contest. The prospect of winning or losing can become more important to us than the idea over which we are fighting. We often see this pattern in our personal relationships as well as in service. Keeping our fellowship out of public controversy protects us from ourselves. We cannot afford to risk our reputation or the well-being of our members over an issue not directly related to our primary purpose. The root words of controversy mean to turn against, so it's easy to see the challenge controversy presents us in N.A. What can we turn against without affecting our unity? Spiritual principles. Each tradition embodies a variety of spiritual principles. The list of principles and values below may be useful as we consider applications of this tradition. Explore them in writing or discussion with your sponsor or other N.A. members. If other principles or values not listed below seem relevant for you, include those as well. Humility, unity, responsibility, prudence, anonymity, integrity, discernment, fidelity, simplicity, freedom, caution, patience, tolerance, acceptance. Example, fidelity and integrity. When we practice fidelity, we are also practicing integrity. We are consistent, true to our message, and faithful to our purpose. Integrity suggests that we are acting in accordance with our beliefs and values. We are not just sharing clean, we are living clean. Fidelity suggests that we are true and faithful to our message, that it is consistent on all occasions. When we practice these principles together, it is virtually impossible for us to engage in controversy. When we are stuck in an argument we can't seem to resolve, it may be useful to consider how fidelity and integrity can help us to get back on course for members. Narcotics Anonymous has no opinion on outside issues. As members, we do, and each of us has a right to our opinions, although a recovery meeting is usually not the best place to discuss them. In recovery, we get to think for ourselves. As we work the steps, we come to an understanding of our own morals and values and develop our own beliefs about how to live and how we recover. Those beliefs may change over time, sometimes surprisingly. Recovery is a dynamic process of evaluation and reevaluation of our actions, perceptions, and values. Tradition 10 asks us to be vigilant in ensuring that our personal beliefs aren't mistaken for principles of Narcotics Anonymous. We carefully consider the effect our words and actions may have on the fellowship we love and the message we carry. We learn to speak wisely and to understand the power of silence. Though we express it in many ways, NA has only one message. An addict, any addict, can stop using drugs, lose the desire to use, and find a new way to live. When we hear another message outside N.A. that resonates strongly with us, it may seem that we could do a service by bringing it to our fellow members. That is not our purpose in an N.A. meeting. We are here to help and be helped through the program of Narcotics Anonymous. We don't all know how to share a recovery message when we get here. If we have experience with some kinds of counseling or therapy, we may be inclined to offer advice to other members. But in N.A., we share experience, not advice. The ways we share with one another are different from the ways many of us communicated before coming to N.A. We learn to share through each other's example and guidance, not by being bullied or humiliated. 
As we continue to share, we get more comfortable with the process of sorting out what feels appropriate to us. Exploring our motives for sharing and asking ourselves what it is that we bring to the meeting can help guide us away from diversion or controversy. We may need to share about what's going on, but we try to stay focused. Many of us struggle to share without getting tangled up in details, especially when our feelings are strong. A guy shared that his political work was tearing him up, one member recounted, but he never mentioned which party he was from. Another suggested, when I'm having a hard time keeping what I share to the topic of recovery, it's usually a sign that I need to get back into my step work. We don't always share an elegant, tidy message, and we don't rate or police each other's sharing. Many members connect with raw, emotional expression, while others may relate to a quiet, thoughtful share. Sharing in a meeting is both personal and courageous, no matter what we share. There is no such thing as sharing perfectly. Each of us struggles sometimes to get to the heart of the matter or to find a message of hope in our experience, and that struggle is part of the process for us. Placing unity first and anonymity at our foundation allows the message to shine through even in the most awkward moments of a meeting. Clarity, focus, and discretion are all assets that make our message attractive and effective. Even members who have been around a while can find it challenging to separate opinions from experience, but we try to be aware of that task. Sharing about a higher power without mentioning a name, sharing about our experience without identifying other people, institutions, or beliefs, these are skills we develop over time and with some help. The ability to share clearly even when we are passionate about something is a message in itself. NA has no opinion on human nature, but it seems that addicts are not the only people vulnerable to ego inflation. Winning an argument, being recognized as special, making a name for ourselves in the world, feeling loved and approved of, all these are positive experiences that almost anyone might be tempted to seek, but they carry a special risk for us. As we recover, many of us go forth into the world with renewed confidence in ourselves and our beliefs. That is beautiful, but it's essential that we leave N.A. out of it. Traditions 10 and 11 remind us not to try to leverage membership into fame or fortune, power or public approval. Anonymity is no small thing. It is the foundation of our traditions, essential to our new way of life. On the internet, and especially on social media, different aspects of our lives and beliefs can be visible in surprising ways. Our challenge is keeping the NA message separate from the other messages we may carry. If we are not vigilant in our privacy practices, we may discover that we are engaging in controversy or being drawn in as members of NA in ways that don't serve us or the fellowship. The service pamphlet, social media, and our guiding principles offers guidance on practicing the traditions in our actions and behaviors online. In so many ways, Tradition 10 is about wisdom. We learn when to speak the truth and when silence is the wiser choice. When we feel we need to defend or explain, it's often because we are still not quite sure. The wisdom to know the difference that comes from practicing this tradition in NA helps us in our work lives and our personal lives as well. We practice honesty and discretion, focus on the purpose at hand, and are not diverted by side topics or invitations to argument. We learn what is true for us and stand firm in that truth. The most effective approach may be to let go and let a challenge go by unaddressed. We can move mountains in recovery, but we don't have to move every mountain. Tradition 10 frees us to mind our own business. Being able to distinguish between necessary conflict and needless controversy frees us to direct our efforts where they can do the most good. We share about our lives in ways that highlight our experiences rather than our opinions. When we interact with the public on behalf of NA, we refrain from speaking on any issue that doesn't relate to who we are and what we do as a fellowship. We let go of our investment in other people's opinions. One member commented, I practice this tradition by remembering that your thoughts and opinions are outside issues to me. Practicing this personally helps us choose our battles, focus our efforts, and walk away from challenges with dignity. This concludes the Tradition 10 section of Guiding Principles for Members. Check the description below the video to read the questions that are for this section. You can answer them and then go over them with your sponsor or another NA member. The next is Tradition 10 for Groups.